Good morning, you guys. It's currently 5.37. I am so tired right now. I already filled my water and I'm just about to make my greens and drink these. Today is Thursday and I just wanted to go over the plan for the day. I kind of have a busy day today. I need to get a vlog uploaded for you guys this morning. So I'm gonna sit in my office and I basically edited the whole video, but I need to do my title, make my thumbnail, write the description box, link everything, all of that stuff. And then I'm gonna do my push day workout. I was also thinking of going to the sauna today. So I need to see what times they have available and book that. And then I also need to run over to either Best Buy or the Apple store because my brother actually gave Brandon um, a laptop. It was his other one because he got a new one and he had Camilla, his girlfriend, mail it here and she didn't put the charger in the box because she couldn't find it. And I was like, don't even worry about it. Like, we'll just buy a new one. They're like really close and I love the fact that they also have like such a good relationship and Brandon and my brother are so similar and I love how much they get along. But anyways, um, I also have a TikTok sponsorship that I need to edit. I filmed that yesterday, so I need to edit that and then send it to my manager. That is pretty much what I have for my Thursday today. I'm gonna drink my greens and just get going on everything. I just finished working in my office and I got everything done for my vlog, so I'm going to um, upload that in a second i want to make some coffee though the sun is like now up and it's really bright out and i haven't had any coffee yet which i'm feeling like i need some energy today I just got my coffee and my breakfast. I did some of the Siggy's plant-based coconut yogurt with strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, some of the granola that I bought, and then I also did a little bit of honey and cinnamon. But I'm going to eat and upload my vlog and then I can respond to comments for a little bit. Just got ready for the gym and I put on this set that's from Gymshark and I can't even remember the last time that I wore this one. I feel like I don't gravitate towards these sets that I have because they're really tight and like hard to get on. But then when I do have it on, I feel like snatched and sucked in and I like the way that it is so I was reminded of why I should wear these more often and then I grabbed this which is also from Gymshark it's a little three-quarter zip sweatshirt full outfit from them today so I'm gonna go to EOS do my push day workout and then go to the sauna and I have an errand to run so it's gonna be a busy day for a little while i don't think i've shown this to you guys yet i got a new tote bag from aloe brandon's mom actually bought this for me which is really sweet and i haven't used it that many times just because it's white and i'm so nervous about getting it dirty but i'm gonna go to the sauna after the gym 
and I don't really want to put my like leggings back on because they're so tight and they're hard to like get on when you're sweaty and sticky so I just figured I would grab a sweatsuit set to bring with me and then I'm also just gonna do my New Balance 550s so I'll bring these and then just put them in my bag that way if I like want to run errands right after I can wear um, this outfit instead and I also threw on my vest just because I know that I'm gonna be cold and it'll be nice to have an extra layer on new things that I got from Sephora. I always wash my hands before I leave the gym, like I go into the bathroom because I just like don't wanna have dirty hands. But I also love having hand sanitizer in my bag. And this was in the packaging, so it like looked really blue, but this one is actually like clear. And I like the aesthetic of it. So there's that. And then I also have my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I'm so happy that I have just the vanilla one again because I like using, well not to get out, I like using this one when I don't have any makeup on or like anything on my face. These are the best products. They used to have different packaging and that one sucked and then when they redid it, I loved it again. But I'm going to head over to the sauna. I have so many things in my gym bag, I like keep pulling stuff out. I'm gonna drink this Orgain protein shake because I'm going straight to um, my sauna appointment and I wanna have some protein after my workout. But this is just a 20 grams of plant-based protein drink. I do like drinking the Ritual one better because it is a little bit more simple ingredients and um, this one has like some things that aren't the best but I'm kind of like, whatever. If you guys have like a good protein drink that you like that doesn't have um, a lot of ingredients but you can drink on the go, like, well, I'm saying that and I guess I could have made my protein shake and brought it with me. But you know what I mean, like ones that are already pre-made in the fridge. guys it's obviously the next day and I don't even remember the last thing that I filmed yesterday honestly I got really tired after I did everything I did a bunch of cleaning I emptied the dishwasher I folded the towels I just like had work to do so anyways today is Friday and right now it's 7 13 this morning so it's still pretty early and I'm gonna make a coffee just wanted to quickly say good morning to you guys I love this frother because it frosts the milk cold or hot and I got it on Amazon like a couple years ago and I'm like obsessed with it so that's why I always use this one when I'm making like cold drinks but i'll have it linked for you guys i've been really wanting to get some new glasses i really like these ones but i think that i could find some that are cute for um, like drinking my greens and stuff so i want to look on crate and barrel I don't feel like making anything, but I do want to eat while I drink my coffee. So I just grabbed these mush oats, which are the coffee coconut flavor. And we're going to try it for the first time. I 
I wish that I could go sit outside on my balcony and eat my breakfast, but it is way too cold. It's like in the 30s this morning, so I'm definitely not doing that, but I'm really excited for like spring and summer because that's like one of my favorite things to do is like eat out there and like sit in the sun. Today I'm actually going to coffee, but I'm not going until 10, so I could not wait to have a coffee. And I'm going to Earth Cafe at the Wynn. And I really like their hot coffee. I love that it comes in a mug when you get it there. And then their to-go cups are really cute. So I was like, I'm just going to make a nice one for myself right now. And then get a hot drink when I go. But I'm actually going with um, one of my friends from my sorority. She is here for work and she invited me to meet her, which I'm excited for that. And I love when um, people invite me to coffee just because I am not a huge drinker. Like invite me to coffee as opposed to invite me out for drinks like at a bar. I'm not like, um, against drinking alcohol or anything i just like don't like the way that it makes me feel and i just am more of like a going to coffee kind of girl that's like one of the things i loved about brandon is that we met here so if you guys are new to my channel brandon and i met in my apartment complex and we ran into each other in the parking garage long story short he got my number and he texted me and asked me to go to coffee with him and that was like already a good sign for me with the fact that our first date would be going to coffee so i just like love anytime someone invites me to get a coffee because i feel like that is really my element the lighting is like not that great in my bathroom and i don't have a good portable mirror so i want to order one so that i can like sit closer to the window and do my makeup but we're just gonna obviously do it in here today just using this it cosmetics cc cream i really like this and i have it in the shade i don't know it's not on here but i always wear the shade medium for that i'm pretty sure and all my stuff is like everywhere you can't see on the counter but i kind of have a mess going on in the bathroom right now but i've had some requests for um a q a for me to answer some questions and i should have asked on my instagram story i will do that soon so i can answer like the ones that you guys want to know but since i'm going to coffee with someone from my sorority i just figured i could answer a couple things that I have off the top of my head. I grew up in Seattle and I went to school at the University of Washington and I cannot get this open. I have not been able to open things lately. Um, I graduated in 2019 and I majored in communications and I went to um, the or like I got a certificate in professional sales from the business school and a lot of people ask me if I feel like going to college was a waste just because I'm not using my degree anymore and I definitely don't feel that way because I like wouldn't be where I am if I didn't go to school because my um, program is what got me my job in Vegas I got the connection for my first job in Vegas from the program that I went to and if I wouldn't have um, gone to school then I obviously wouldn't have applied to a job that's in Vegas and then I wouldn't have moved here. So I'm definitely grateful for the fact that I went to school. I was a G5 at UW and I had a lot of fun when I was like in my sorority and um obviously i met like lauren and sienna which are a couple of my best friends so i'm like super whoops um super glad that i like still have friendships from when i was in school i really did love living in seattle like growing up and i had such a good like childhood and i'm so grateful for um how my parents raised me and just like having um like such an amazing family the fact that i was like even able to go to school is like such a cool opportunity so i guess what i'm trying to get at is everything that i've done um in the past 
I don't regret because it's gotten me to where I am and I really do love living in Vegas and I guess it's just crazy with the fact that like I went through a program in school that connected me to a job in Vegas that I ended up quitting because YouTube um, and social media like started doing better for me and I was able to like pay all my bills and everything with my with the money that I was getting from doing this and then I met Brandon and I feel like he's made my life even better here so I've had like so many stepping stones to where I am and like going to school and being like in my sorority and graduating from college definitely helped me like get to this point. I just put on this brown leather bomber jacket. I think that this all looks really cute together with this white t-shirt and then the pants. I love the way that these pants fit me. I feel like you can see better right here. They are just like very flattering and they look good on like the legs and everything. Then I have my New Balance 550s on, which the coloring of these shoes looks so good. I don't know if this lighting is like a little crazy. Um, looks so good together. Oh, there we go. Darkened a little bit. So that is the outfit. And then I'm going to use this bag, which I'm obsessed with this purse. It's my favorite bag ever. <laughs> I use it every single day. But we're off. I've had a lot of coffee today. Because I made coffee earlier and then I got a coffee there. But I ordered a black coffee and they do free refills. So I got one to go and I put some almond milk into it. And I just feel like I have had way more caffeine than I need and not enough of food. So I need to make something to eat right now. And then I'm also going to go to the gym and do my leg workout. So I'll eat get ready for that and just head over there because I want to get that done before it gets too late. I don't want to go to the gym in the evening because it's always really busy and I just have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of people there. If I go to the gym on Saturday, it's usually not that busy, but any days like during the week in the evening, I just don't enjoy that. So let's see. I don't know what I'm going to make. Actually, I do. I am going to have a bagel today because I got some more and that with some cream cheese mm, sounds amazing. I'm going to do one of the Udi's gluten-free bagels and then I have this dairy-free Kite Hill cream cheese. This is made with almond milk. It's one of my favorite cream cheeses. And then I also am going to make some eggs and look at how big this one egg is. Like it's so much bigger than the rest. I got these egg crates at Crate and Barrel and I think they're so cute. It's just for like aesthetic purposes, but I love them. So anyways, I'm going to put this together. I kind of have a lot going on here. I fried two eggs, which I overcooked a little bit, but that's all right. Topped it with red chili flakes and everything bagel seasoning. I did a bagel with cream cheese, some turkey bacon, and then um, a bowl of some fresh pineapple and strawberries. I got a couple packages in the mail, so I wanted to open these up really quick. This one I ordered from Lululemon. You guys already know how obsessed I am with the Align stuff. And I got the Align um, set in brown kind of a while ago. And the color is called Java, but the um, shorts have been out of stock and I finally got them. I just wanted to have the matching shorts so I could m wear it with my sports bra and I get them in a size 4. I size up in the shorts um, just because I don't like them to be too tight around my thighs and then I wear a 2 in the leggings. And then I also got this from Daily Drills which they actually sent this to me. First up, I got this silk button-down shirt, which is just black, and it's really good material. This is actually a set. 
I got the matching pants, which these are called the like resort pant. And I think I'm gonna have to get these hemmed because they look pretty long for me. But just has like a little logo on the back, which I really like about their stuff is it's all like very simple. Um, what's it called? Branding. I got a blazer, which is really cute. And this would be so adorable with like a little dress or also um, a skirt. And then obviously some jeans and sneakers. And I actually don't have a blazer this color. I have one that's like gray and then also um like a darker tan the lighting is changing like so weird right now but i think that this is really cute they have so much good clothing and they have like a ton of different stuff they have loungewear they have um obviously pieces that you can dress up so that was really nice of them to send this to me i put my set on under this sweatsuit set i got this one from white fox because there's no way that I'm showing up to the gym in shorts. It's too cold for that. Truthfully, I'm kind of dreading going today, but I know it's going to make me feel so much better. I'm just like having a hard time getting there. It's like 2.30 and I still haven't left. I was sitting and doing a little bit of editing and I'm like, okay, Haley, you just need to go. So I'm being disciplined. I'm getting myself there for my last um lifting workout of the week you guys i am a hot mess right now i'm getting gas and earlier this morning my car was like fuel level low and i just like ignored it i was like whatever i'll get gas later and then um i got into my car just a second ago and i totally forgot that i didn't get gas and i was like shoot so while i was driving to the gym i pulled into the gas station and i look in my gym bag and i forgot my wallet and i was like you've got to be kidding me so I went up to the front and I was like, do you guys do Apple Pay? And he's like, no, but we need to. So then I went home, I got my wallet, I came here and now I'm getting gas. But I'm like, why did that have to happen? This is already my least favorite errand to run or yeah, whatever. Like this is a chore to me. I'm like, this is terrible. And my car is like completely empty. and knowing me i'm like gonna be that person that runs out of gas on the side of the road and it's like stuck because that's what happened when i was with lauren which was so bad so i'm like i cannot have that ever happen again especially being by myself all right 72 dollars later and got a full tank and i'm ready to get this workout out of the way i just got out of the shower i was standing under the water for so long it felt so nice i just did not want to get out so that was super relaxing and i am so proud of myself for making it to the gym getting through my whole workout because it was a little bit of a struggle i feel like just so good after the workout and i actually have like more energy than i did earlier i'm just grabbing this lux unfiltered self tanning cream i love this brand this is the rosewood one and i just wanted to put a little bit of this on this is a like hydrating gradual self tanning lotion so it's not gonna just like make me look crazy tan after one time but it does smell like pretty good. I also really don't like the way spray tans oh, whoops, and self tanning creams look when they start coming off. This one I feel like doesn't like look blotchy or anything. But other ones that I've used I just think um, come off weird. And that to me is just like not a vibe. Brandon also doesn't like the way that um, self tanner smells. And I've been using tanner a lot less ever since i met him i feel like it's because he has definitely helped me a lot with like my confidence he always tells me how much like he loves me and thinks i'm beautiful without tanner without makeup on without like my hair done and he actually prefers that and in the past i've definitely struggled with like confidence and like body image in my appearance but i've been working on myself like for myself obviously but he has played a role in just like 
helping me and so I now just like don't feel the need to do tanner or wear makeup every day or um whatever like get fully ready because I'm definitely like a lot more confident in who I am naturally and I'm not saying I don't like these things because I definitely do and I really enjoy like girly stuff but all I'm saying is like I don't feel like I have to do it consistently to like feel pretty and I'm just like happy that I'm at a place like that now because I definitely haven't been in the past and it's taken me like a long time to get here. I don't know I guess like all I'm trying to say is that it's so important to like embrace who you are because you're beautiful and you don't need anything um to feel that way but again like I said it is fun and it definitely helps at times when I am not feeling like super confident and lately I've just been feeling pale because it's like winter and I just like I don't know feel like putting it on but I definitely don't feel like I need these things all the time I already have food that I cooked on Wednesday which is literally the best feeling on a night like tonight when I just don't want to make something. I'm going to saute some of this rainbow veggie mix though. So that's like basically the only thing that I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna make the um, chicken hummus bowl that I did. I think it was in my last vlog. I got all the ingredients from Hungry Root and it was so insanely good. And I'm like craving that tonight. So I basically just have to heat these up and then saute a little bit of this. Look at that bowl. It's just the brown rice quinoa blend, the veggie mix, and then I put the chicken and hummus. This is the hummus that I got, the Ithaca lemon garlic hummus. And it has really simple ingredients. You guys can see right there. But I love this hummus brand. They're all like so yummy. I just paused the show because I need a snack. I'm in a snacking mood. I'm gonna have multiple snacks tonight actually. But for one, I need some popcorn. So I'm getting a bag of this and then I'm turning the show back on. It's a very nice Friday night. It's super relaxing. I cannot get my slipper off. I have my blanket and I'm cozy. So I'm going to close out the vlog here. I just wanted to say that I love you all so much and I'm so grateful for all of you and I just appreciate you guys watching the vlogs. So thank you for being here. I'm gonna be starting a new vlog. So make sure that you are subscribed, but I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.